Cute things are loved by everyone. That's a fact. Like, look at this cute thing. And this cute thing. There are so many cute things. Even things that may not be cute at first glance are cute if you look deep enough. And that's what this video is about. The great, wide, wacky world of bugs that are cute. Maybe it will teach you a few life lessons about not judging a book by its cover. Wait, shoot, that is what this video is about. So before we could talk about cute bugs, we have to have some criteria. It can't be a moth. Moths are too cute, and I could make a whole separate video on cute moths. And those are our rules. No moths, everything else is fair game. Also, yes, I get it. Bug implies it's an insect, and not everything here is an insect, but just bear with me, okay? Okay, let's get started. So our first bug is this cute face bug thing, right? The ther 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 therion growlitter. Wrong. While it may look cute on its back, you go down a little and Jesus, it's a spider! This thing has a face! Holy little are you in like, like an angler fish, but it's just mental pain instead of getting eaten! <laughs> if its old point is to scare off predators, it's doing a heck of a good job. Just for that, I'll give it like a 5 out of 10. Of course, cuteness is subjective, and our next bug may not sit with you. It's a millipede. These things are slow and therefore not intimidating, so it automatically gets a cute award. Not to mention, it's literally hundreds of legs, not thousands or millions. The name is lying to you. Which is a bummer, and it's why it's not higher on this list. And look at what could grow up into a swirl thing! Foreshadow. 7 out of 10. Next up is this bug that my friend sent on a Discord server. I know virtually nothing about it. I know it's a cockroach. It does look like an isopod. Reverse image search did not help. I've honestly never had this much trouble finding a bug. Why cockroaches kind of look kind of similar to this, but not exactly. Either this picture is fake, or I'm dumb. I was going to put it high up on the list, but this dumb goose chase ranks it a 2 out of 10. Bees are fuzzy and fluffy. Probably. I've never touched one. But they look fuzzy and fluffy, so they probably are. These things are cute and like to pollinate, and they have a movie where Jerry Seinfeld plays the main character. What is not to love? Nothing. There is nothing wrong with bees. They are the perfect creature. If you have an allergy, that's your fault. You should have thought of that beforehand. Because these bad boys get a 10 out of 10. Okay, fine. They have stingers and can sting you. And if you have an allergy, you are in a bad position. But it's not the bees' fault, okay? You just misunderstood. Fine. I hear all of your pleads. The Bumbly Bumbler Bumblebee is only 9 out of 10. Happy? It's time for number 1. The Alpha of the Bug Kingdom. Let's see it. That's right, folks. It's the best undefeated roly-poly. Or pill bugs if nobody likes you. What makes them number 1? Well, they curl up into a ball. This is revolutionary. Also, isopods, which is cool, I guess. Apparently, they taste like shrimp. I don't know why you would eat them, though. They're so cute. They chew wood or something. I don't know. All that matters is that they curl up into a ball and are a solid 10 out of 10. And with that, that concludes our list of the best bugs. I hate that isopod white cockroach thing, and I love roly-polies. That's all you need to know. Goodbye.